I am Jenny Griffo. I'm co-owner of Griffo Distillery. I'm Mike Griffo, and my wife Jenny and I own and run Griffo Distillery here in Sonoma, uh, Petaluma. Mike and I met when we were at grad school. Um, I had moved down from Seattle and was going to graduate school at Stanford, uh, studying international development. And Mike um, had moved up to the Bay Area for college and graduate, and he was um, finishing his PhD in physics from UCSC when we met. Mike made a joke to me, we should open a winery. And I was like, that's an awful idea. Like, we're not farmers, that's like the main thing, you know? And you just still all day in the lab, like, why don't we open a distillery? Moving to Petaluma, I think the first thing that we noticed was the land and the coast. You know, having come from Manhattan, we were West Coasters originally, so this is where our hearts are at along the Pacific. To be here and to see the, the beauty of this land, um, it made us feel like we were home. You know, everyone's not sort of looking for, you know, the big box store or the corporate product. We love our small restaurants and our small wineries, and we look at what people are around us doing locally, and we celebrate that. Critical to who we are is the community that we're a part of here. I've never been somewhere where the community rallies behind you like they have us. I've never seen it before, and it's, it's why we're here. It's why we've made it. I get emotional. As soon as you start talking, I tear up a little bit because um, it's part of what we're doing here is creating something where we can be a part of our community. That's what I was missing and what Mike was missing in our previous work and in New York. We've had a lot of good fortune to be able to support our community. So, I mean, the, one of the biggest examples was during COVID and being able to provide sanitizer to all of our frontline workers. It's amazing to have a facility where we can actually give back to the community um, and in, in a bigger way than we could as just individual people. And that was amazing to be in a position to actually help people. It was a really intense emotional experience to go through. It was about two months of 18 hour days. Um, we made about 40,000 gallons of sanitizer and donated half of that. Um, we were shipping pellets to the Cherokee Nation, to Ojibwe, to tons of communities around the country as well as our local indigenous communities too. The unhoused community, Petaluma City Schools, we've given pallets and pallets away. From the very beginning, being a zero waste or low waste facility has been absolutely critical to how we've built this place, from how we make our whiskeys to being um, a no water waste process, to how we run our tasting room um, with no plastic. It's always a challenge and we are always faced with new problems of like, how do we ship you know, throughout the state now when that changed last March? How do we do that without plastic? You know, or without foam bubbles, right? And so then you go down the rabbit hole of like, what are the sustainable methods and how can we reuse them? One of our favorite parts of making whiskey is the creative process involved in what, in what flavors you're gonna make at the very end. And one of my favorite parts about our whiskey making process is that we use an open top fermentation tank. All breweries and most distilleries um, have a sealed fermentation process, which means that what you put in there is all that's gonna be in there. We do an open top, which allows us to collect all of the yeast that's in the air. The first thing that we do is we pitch our own yeast, which is gonna create the dominant flavor. And then over time, all the particles of yeast that are floating around us at all the time, um, they go into the tank and actually create its own flavor. <clears throat> and we think of this as our own air terroir, um, you know, soil terroir when it comes to creating grapes' unique flavors, um, which is really important throughout Sonoma County. Um, but here, the air is really unique. Um, we have incredible brewers, incredible bakers um, all around us. We have Lagunitas up the street, we have a hen house, we have Redbird Bakery, we have Della Fattoria. We've got all these beautiful creators and all of them are pitching yeast up into the air and they're floating all around us. Um, so it's really fun that all of those companies and all of those creators are in our bottles of whiskey.